in encouraging uh, text this morning and uh, he says he has a reason he has risen and that is Jesus Christ himself is no no longer in the in the sepulchre or the grave and therefore we have reason to rejoice those of us of the Christian faith uh, at the resurrection of Jesus Christ and having borne all man of our sins and kwandugu islamu uh, we continue to say ramadan karim jana jioni tuli fanikiwa sana na team tulipotoka upande wa lunga lunga tulienda kwa iftar hapa katika markas uh, mosque in uh, indiani Tumshukuru sana koordinata wetu ambaye pia ni Sheikh uh, bana mpishi na wenzake na mnaona kama tungekawia siku nyingine mbili tatu <laughs> kikundi kingekuwa kikubwa leo tuwafanikiwa speaker wa bunge ya Machakos amekachap na sisi na waheshimiwa hapa mnamjua mheshimiwa Kitui West mheshimiwa uh, Mashako toka kule kwa milima ya, ya Taita Taveta undanyi na pia tunamheshimiwa kutoka Makweni ama Susan Kiamba Mheshimiwa Nyenze um, and of course our brother here we have also some team from Kitui County led by the majority leader eh waheshimiwa tuwashukuruni sana kwa uvumilivu wenu na hali ya kujitolea so this morning we want to talk to you about four subjects two or three subjects ya kwanza ni report ya nadco eh alafu ya pili ni juu ya fertilizer fake ya tatu we want to talk about freedom of independent media na vile sasa tumeona a deliberate attempt to claw back on media gains and the freedom of expression ya ene is on corruption yani imekuwa sasa is a, is a daily thing and uh, so tulizungumza jana juu ya report ya nadco na vile kwa maoni yetu Njama tayari imeundwa hatujui kama imekamilika lakini hata kama imekamilika tunataka wajue tunajua mtu anajitokeza ameundwa properly aelekee mahakama huko Kiambu asimamishe ripoti ya Nadiko na hali ripoti yenyewe ni property ya bunge bunge tayari bunge la senate na bunge la wakilishi national assembly walikuwa wamepitisha wakakubaliana na recommendations zao report sasa ikasalia tu uh, the enabling legislation haswa juu ya IEBC wakati tulikuwa tukiendelea na mazungumzo kule Bomas tulikuwa na habari kwamba kulikuwa msukumo mkubwa msukumo mkubwa kiambiwa msipo jihadari msipo jikakamua mjue kuna jamaa ameenda kwa mahakama eh ni yao ni kujaribu wakimbize mambo yao iwe ni Kenya kwanza peke yao ambao watakaweunda tume mpya ya IBC hilo halikubaliki na kama wataendelea na hiyo route bila shaka tutajua kwamba wameamua kurig elections hata kabla wenyewe kufanyika and Kenyans are fed up and tired of election rigging Kenyans who come out the Senegalese in the recent past <laughs> pekemea hawa watu wa Kenya kwanza Bomet Kericho wa Kenya tayari wako kwa mitaa so this time itakuwa ni, ni viongozi wenyewe kujiunga na wananchi lakini kabla hiyo fanyike 
bado kuna nafasi nafasi ya kuonyesha kwa mara ya kwanza kwanza kuna nia njema ya kujaribu kutekeleza kikamilifu makubaliano ya National Dialogue Committee bila mtu yeyote kujaribu kuleta uhasama huko katikati so hiyo ni juu ya nadiko wao kidhubutu kuweka makamishi na wao kufanya nini na ndio mimi jana ikasema sasa ni jukumu jukumu la wale ambao waliteua kamati ya nadiko aso ndugu Raila Amolo Odinga na mwenzake Rais William Ruto wao wao wajitokeze watoe mwelekeo bila kusita kwa sababu tutaona kama walitutumia vibaya wasipofanya hivyo Aa. sasa mambo hii fake fertilizer imeendelea sijui kebs sijui nani we would have expected kama kuna nia ya kupigana na ofisadi wa aina hii na ijulikane kwamba Kenya kwanza walikuwa na two pet projects ya kwanza kwamba ni fertilizer eh tena ingawaje imetoka urusi na wakutaja eh, eh, sema sasa b imeshuka kutoka shilingi 6500 sasa ni shilingi 2500 kumbe ni fake kumbe ni fertilizer imechanganywa na, na, na mafi ya ya, kon, ya punda <laughs> maajabu ya mawe sijui kama ni limestone mengine kafanana so kweli kungekuwa na nia tena ya kupigana na ofisadi na hii waziri usika angekuwa tayari ame, amepeleka barua yenyewe kujuzulu that is what other people do in democracies if indeed we still pretend we are democracy in this country juu ya swala la umuhimu wa uhuru wa waandishi wa habari wana habari kama sio washikadao hawa ambao waliweza mmoja akasema kule kwamba sasa hii hii ni serikali ya stakeholders <laughs> pengine waliwachukieni wakati huo kutoka wakati ule na hali twajua kwamba Mungu alituweka sisi zote Kenya hii wa Kristo wa Waislamu wasioenda kanisani <laughs> wa Hindu wengine tabaka mbalimbali nchi yetu ndio hii na kwa hivyo waandishi wa habari wanapodhulumiwa ni dhuluma sio tu dhidi ya waandishi wa habari wenyewe mbali pia Kenya nzima tumeona tabia basi kupeana paid advertisements because that's how you make your money the media owners media owners unikubali nseme royal citizen kwa mfano walikuwa upande wa azimio and they didn't fear it they have their right to express themselves sasa wao lazima sasa because the biggest media house tukubali lazima sasa wadhulumiwe wavinyiliwe eh sasa paid advertisements ndanda kwa kina nani star lazima tuulize mshikadao wa star newspaper ni up what is the level of circulation ya hiyo star newspaper hey jameni Nation media vile vile dhuluma dhuluma hampati lolote ni umefika wakati waandishi wa habari na nyinyi mwelekee kwa mitaa <laughs> kama wa Kenya wenzenu madaktari tayari yuko kwa mitaa madaktari hawa kama ambavyo nitangulia kusema so pengine wataanza sasa kwenda individually against them against killer media person uhuru wa, wa, wa magazeti uhuru wa kutoa e, kufanya expression kama vile uhuru wa maandamano uhuru wa kujiunga na vikundi uhuru wa kupiket uh, tutaki tena kurudia article 37 ya katiba yetu 2010 kama sio katiba 2010 inji ingekuwa mahali pabaya sana chini ya utawala wa Kenya kwanza ingekuwa mambo mengine kabisa lakini bado tuwakumbushe kwamba kuna katiba ingawaje wengine waliipinga lakini bado ndio iliwazuilia hawa wangekuwa pengine hawajafikia huko saa jambo hilo la mwisho basi ufisadi
ufisadi kila mahali ufisadi sasa tumeona jama ya ufisadi mwingine hali ya juu sana so kama vijana hata chukua vitambulisho that is pre-rigging the election again pre-rigging kwa hivyo lazima tuambie mapema wakubali vijana kijana yote mwanamke msichana kwa kijana ambaye amehitimu amefikisha umri wa miaka 18 apatie ID unconditionally na aende ajiandikishe kama mpiga kura because this is a continuation kwa hivyo tunahisi before the, the next elections registered Kenyans should be about 30 million lakini vile wanavinyilia eh na pia natakuwa naangalia huku hapa hapa tupendwe hapa wanavinyilia zaidi atutakubali tutaenda mitaani tena fisadi ndio huo we saw the index the amount of money you pay to get uh, what is properly your right kama mwananchi wa Kenya has gone up hata hata eh, nadhani various ministries wahusika wametajwa kiwazi wazi so it's about time either we, we stop singing about corruption and do something else because it's like Kenyans have become immune we continue to go down the, the, the ladder of the country's most corrupt or is it kwenda ju ni bottom up natoka bottom naenda ju okay kwa hivyo na haya tu mtamuuliza huyo ndugu na yeye aongeze pengine kwa ile lugha najua najua sana ya kama wakili kama wakili eh alisoma lugha kabisa eh ya Kiingereza hiyo 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 he can add or subtract mshumo wa jim ah thank you very much your excellency ladies